This is PowerPoint for beginners, so if you haven't used it before or you're not very comfortable in using it, this will help you a little. So the first thing we need to do is open PowerPoint. Now I have PowerPoint here on my desktop. You maybe don't have this. So what you need to do is go to your search box and you're going to type PowerPoint and you'll see it will come up for me. I'm going to click to open. Okay, then we're going to click on blank presentation. So this will open our first presentation. I have two boxes to work with. I'm going to click in the first box to add title. I'll give it a name. So I can just type in here. Okay, PowerPoint for beginners. And then I might want to add a little more information here. So I'll click in this second box. Um, how to add text and pictures to your presentation. Okay, so my first page. Uh, but maybe I want to change things a little. So for example, maybe I want to change the style of this. So I click on the box and I use this arrow to, to choose different styles of writing for me. And it gives me a little preview so I can see what it will look like. I'm going to do this one. Uh, but I want to change the size too, so I go to next to it is font size, so I click on the box and I want to make it really big, maybe bigger. That's it. Maybe I want to move this box, I don't like where it is, I click on the box and I hold and I can now move it around the page when I'm happy with where it is, I just let go of the mouse. This one too, maybe I want to change the style, so I click on the box again. Um, let's say... Um, that one will do me, but it's a little bit small, so I click on the font size and I select what I want. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this one. So now I want to create a new slide. I click on new slide for my next page. Yeah. Okay, so it gives me two boxes this time. So maybe I don't want this box. So I click on the box and I can just press delete. Let's say I'm going to use this box, but it's a little small. So, see I have an arrow now that is up and down. I can press and hold. Okay, so now I'm happy. So I can add uh, some writing here. So we're first going to look at how to insert pictures. Okay, but I don't like this here. Yeah, so I can either put in the cursor at the beginning and go backspace or up here, this is for bullet points. So I click on the box and I can select different styles of one if I want to insert a bullet point or I select none. I don't want any so I'm going to select none. So insert pictures. So I need to go to the insert. I can choose from these. So in pictures, this is only pictures I already have in my computer or online pictures. So I'm going to select online pictures. And then I can do a search. I'm going to search for a dog. I want a picture of a dog. I press the search button. And it's going to look for me. So I can see here it's giving me some pictures to choose from. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. 
I click on the picture I want and I press insert and this is going to add it onto my page so there's my picture mm, I'm not happy with this here so I'm going to click my mouse and I'm going to move it I want it over here and I let go of my mouse picture is a little small so I can make it bigger by clicking on the corner or I can use these ones okay so I'm happy with my picture here if I want to add some writing with it I go insert and we add a text box this time so I have to draw it I click on text box I press my mouse and I draw where I want it to go when I'm happy I let go of the mouse and I can now add some sentences here there is a large dog at the beach I can make this bigger again so I click on the box I change the size I like that one maybe I'm not happy I can go undo It'll, no I do like it redo yeah if I want to delete I click on the box and I press delete oops I made a mistake I undo and it comes back for me so they're the basics for using a PowerPoint remember to save your work you see the little save here click on that tell them where you want to save it to your PC click twice and I'm gonna say PowerPoint for beginners number one and save so this will save this for me practice using PowerPoint uh, and to begin with just use the basics and I'll make a video too for you soon